I recently came across a series of videos by Karen Brennan, who was discussing her loss at 35 weeks. Um, so this video is going to be about pregnancy loss. So if you don't want to watch, scroll on. Karen is talking about the role that having an umbilical cord knot may or may not have played in that loss. So go back and watch her series of videos. I'll tag her uh, account here. Um, but what I'm going to do is just talk about true umbilical cord knots and their role in pregnancy loss. So true umbilical cord knots occur in about 0.3 to 2% of pregnancies. And most of them are loose and single, meaning there's only one loose umbilical cord knot in the whole length of the umbilical cord. Um, and most are not found until birth. Now detection of true umbilical cord knots on ultrasound is difficult. Um, most of the time we do not see them. But if one is found, it's kind of debated on what should happen next. This is what a true umbilical cord knot looks on ultrasound. So it'd be easy, it's easy for me to say, but it'd be easy to miss on ultrasound unless you were specifically looking for it. This is considered a loose umbilical cord knot. This is an example of a tight umbilical cord knot. Here's another example of a tight, tight cord knot. Now, there is an association between tight umbilical cord knots and stillbirth. And that is because if it's tight and as the fetus moves and grows, that could still get tighter and pull and impair the blood flow from the placenta through the cord to the fetus, which could cause fetal growth restriction over the long term and then in worst case scenario, stillbirth. The important thing is this, in the event of a stillbirth, if a true knot is found in the cord, it should not automatically be assumed that that was the cause of the stillbirth. And there are certain things on histological exam of the placenta that should be present before making it, or before concluding that the true knot played a role in the stillbirth. Now, more recently in 2024, there was a retrospective cohort study looking at uh, true umbilical cord knots, and they found that by and large, most have no cl clinical consequences and there was not an increased risk of stillbirth in the group that did have a true umbilical cord knot. So I'm going to put some resources in my caption uh, along with some additional information.